Hi Capricorn, welcome to my Chrome Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is your general tarot reading for the week ahead. Um, let's see what we've got for you. There's something to celebrate this week. I don't know what's celebrating, but somebody wants to celebrate something, but it's kind of like you're only telling your nearest and dearest for this. Um, it feels like you're in a circle, the ones that get to celebrate before it gets announced to the wider world. Um, also be mindful if there's people that should have been on that inner circle that you haven't told, gonna, that's going to put wedges in places. Um, but yeah, there's news to share and celebrate. Um, so your nearest support, your nearest people are the ones that should be in the know. Um, and if they're not your nearest people, then yeah, don't tell them. But um, I mean, they'll know soon enough. But bear in mind that some of those people might should have been in that inner circle of people that know and you haven't told them. There's going to be repercussions for that. Um, let's see what we've got. What have we got for Capricorn? We have Temperance and the Ace of Cups. These are so reflective. They're amazing. I don't know why I can't seem to pick that up on um, on the camera quite so well, but they're amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's about finding a middle road um, in a situation that makes you happy. Um, temperance is keyword. The key phrase that comes to me with temperance is compromise, not settling. You have to be happy in whatever path this is that you're following. So I don't know if this is career, relationship, family matters. Um, the Ace of Cups means that you have to satisfy yourself first, okay? You're not gonna make everybody happy, Capricorn. You're not gonna please everybody else. You have to please yourself first um, without harming as many people as you can along the way. It's basically the compromise that you kind of get. Like, I'm making myself happy. I'm not gonna... Um, live a half-life to make other people happy, to make more people happy, but I'm going to live my happy life in the way that doesn't affect people negatively as much as possible. It's finding that happy medium, right, between what makes you ultimately really happy and what makes another person in your life really happy and finding the middle road between the two of you. I don't, and finding the compromise, right, that goes within a relationship, finding the balance, finding your path together. Like in the beginning of a relationship, you kind of come together and you're all jaggedy and all conflicting and you're rubbing each other off until you smooth each other out and you find your middle path together. You find your flow. Um, and it kind of feels like you're quite prepared to compromise, but you're not willing to settle anymore. You're not willing to accept less than your worth, worth less than your value, because I think you've been working on your value, like working on yourself, like, well, why? Why have I got to do this? Um, and not accepting less than you are um bear in mind try not to be too arrogant with that like well i'm good enough if i meant that much you come to me remember that it is reciprocal because the two the temperance card is one cup flowing into another it is reciprocal so if, if you're expecting a behavior from someone you need to do that behavior to them in order for them to reciprocate or not and then that's how you deem whether they're value valuable to your connection if you're not investing in that person and you're expecting them to come to that to come to you with that first that's not quite how it works. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like, go put it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like the olive leaf. If there's a rift and you're like, well, that person's not coming to me, equally, you're not going to them either. It, it is reciprocal in that sense. Like, if you're not putting any effort in, why should they put effort in? Um, so maybe, yeah, make the move. If they then don't reciprocate the energy, cut them off, get rid of them, that's fine. But at least you've kind of, it's like a bleep test on the broadband internet. They send the bleeps through and if nothing comes back, they know that it's not working. And it's kind of like you've got to do a bleep test on your, on, a, an, on your relationships or your job. Like, put the effort in, bang. Did anything come back from that? No, it doesn't work for me then. Get it out. It doesn't serve me. Um, but you kind of have to give it a chance first, one last chance before you cut it out completely because it's almost like you're not, you're expecting things from people like, well, you should be coming to me. Yeah, but have you gone to them? That's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, it's all very well saying, yes, they should come to you if they, if they value you or they find they want to be in your life. That's fine. But have you done it back the other way? Because it is mutual. If you, by all means, if you've been putting yourself out there and they're not coming back, that's fine. But if you're not putting that energy out in the first place to have it reciprocated, they're feeling the same way you are. Like, well, you're not putting any effort in. Why should I? Um, I'm all for, like, acknowledging your value, but there's also the other, like, you have to acknowledge whether you've actually invested in the first place or put any effort in. Um, 
But let's see, let's see what we've got moving forward. The Hermit in a reflection, yeah. Going in and doing some work. You've done this work, and if you're not, then you should be doing this work. Um, going in and seeing what it is you want, right? Because if you're going to make yourself happy, once you've done the inner work, you know your value, you know you're willing to accept. You also know where you want to go, what you want to do. It's like you have to go within to find, like, if this is to do with the job, go within. What do you want to do with your life? Even if you're, like, I don't know, 70 years old and you've always wanted to be a dancer, go and take dancing lessons. Go and be a dancer at 70. If you, I don't know, if, if, if you're not with someone and you've always wanted a child, look into a way of having a child. If, if the, having a child is independent of being in a relationship and having a child, have the child on your own. Um, it's just kind of like, well, you need to go within. What is your core? What are your core values and what are your core aspirations? What do you want to achieve? If you feel like you're drifting from job to job, go within. What wasn't right in those jobs? What job do you want to do? Do you know what I mean? It's all very well going, I'm not happy, I'm moving to another job, I'm not happy, move to another job, I'm not happy, move to another job. All you're doing is moving to jobs. What you need to do is know what job you want, write down, know specifically what job you want, and then go for that job and make moves to get yourself into that job. Because until you know that you're in a career that you want to be in, that's going to fulfil you, you're just going to keep jumping from job to job to job. You get like if you know what sort of unless you know what sort of person you want to be with, what what values you are, what values you want from your partner, you're gonna jump from person to person to person because you don't know what you're looking for. So you have to go within and go, well, what do I want from another person? You're gonna jump from person to person to person otherwise. And and it's kind of like, well, what do I want from a relationship? If this is to do with family, what relationship do I want with my mother? What relationship do I want with my father? What relationship do I want with my child only then do you know go right I would like to have it where we have a family dinner once a month on a Sunday and we all meet up and have dinner together that's fine as long as you then put the effort in so that they want to come to dinner do, do you know what I mean you can't just go I want you for dinner one Saturday a month and never tell anyone that that's what you'd like and then get pissy with people because they're not coming to dinner once a month you've never once stated that you wanted that relationship with them and equally you can't expect people to come to your house for dinner on a Sunday once a month if you're not putting any effort into the relationship why would you go to someone's house for dinner if they're not contacting you or they're resentful of everything you do or I don't know if, if there's no effort put in if nobody's en energetically invested in you why would you go to the house for dinner it's that kind of, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm all for like saying, I want this, but you have to do the work too for the universe to deliver it. If you want your family over for Christmas dinner, then you have to have it where your family want to come to dinner by putting yourself out there, by contacting them, by taking an interest in their life, by um, by by doing the work, by put, maintaining the relationship so that it's a happy, healthy unconditionally loving relationships so that they want to be in your life you have to put the effort out you can't just expect it back to you it's the same with a job if, if you want to have a career where you you want to be a vet or a doctor and you go I want to be a vet and then you go why can't I get a job as a vet well you've not put the effort in have you you've not invested the energy to, to go into university to do the degree or applying or if you haven't got what you need to go to university going back and getting the grades and, and the, the qualifications you need in order to qualify for university to go and do the job you have to put the energy in you have to invest put the effort in for the universe to provide it back for you it's very well putting wishes out there and expecting it to drop it on your lap but you have to put the effort in so that you're ready for it when that opportunity comes in and that's kind of like where the hermit card comes in. You have to go in, what is it I want? Because if I'm going to have to work at this and invest in this and make this happen, if that's that vital to me, then I need to know what it is, what my fundamentals and core are moving forward. Because I need to invest energy into this to make it happen, to have it reciprocated back to me. There are, there are relationships that are kind of done. And I, I don't know if um, that's from your side or the other side, like... It, it could be too late to invest energetically in them, whether that's you or them. Um, and you're kind of like, nope, that's done. That's dead. That's gone. And that's fine. You're making that choice to cut that energetic tie out of your life. That's fine. Um, but equally, there could be people doing that to you because you've not energetically invested in them back. 
Does that make sense? But th there's a lot of, of, of clearing up of your bubble right now, whether that's you or the universe clearing it up for you. It's like the universe has gone, well, you haven't invested, you, you've not maintained that relationship. So I'm just removing that relationship. I'm doing that for you. Um, it's really about assessing where you want to put energy in, what you want to be committed to, where you want to go. Um, and once you know that, putting the effort in because, yeah, strength. I, it's going to be testing. It's going to be trying. I'm not going to lie. It's it's going to be a testing and trying time for you because it's assessing perhaps relationships and issues within relationships or, or within your career or within your plan or how you saw your life going, where you go, actually, that's quite painful that that that, that person doesn't want to be in my life. And I'm not, I'm not pretending that you can go, <coughs> especially if it's like a family member, like a, you go, do you know what? I always thought they cared more about me than that. Um, especially if you have put the effort in with that um, and they don't reciprocate that's really hard to go do you know what I've poured all that love into that um, and now I've got to let that go and I'm not I'm not pretending that that's easy and it's not a case of oh that hurts oh but but the universe said that that didn't serve me so that's fine I'll just pretend that that you know no you don't get me wrong that change and cutting out cutting the energetic tie and and protecting your energy in that sense is going to be painful and take some healing i'm not i'm not pretending that this is an easy exercise and also putting yourself out there to, to to send the olive branch to to make one last attempt at trying with a relationship and it not being reciprocated that's going to be painful it's, it's, there's an element of rejection there um, and possibly without any sort of closure of why someone doesn't give a shit enough to return that energy um or, or maybe going out there and applying for a job and the first time you don't get it, that doesn't mean you're not supposed to do that job. It just means that th there's going to be some failures. But if you want to be in that career bad enough, you will keep trying and keep trying and you will build up your skill set so that you're more and more employable in that area. It's putting more and more effort in. So when that job does come in, oh my God, you're ready for it because you've done the skills, you've done the training, you've done all everything you can do in order to be prepared for that job to come in um but yeah there's going to be rejections along the way and that's going to be painful and that's but that is again <sighs> refining and and when as, as painful as that is it, it should clear energy for more positive things to come in because while you cling to a relationship that's toxic that's just going to sit there filling up your space with toxicity um so yeah there is an element of strength there there's also an element of well did I uh, uh, acknowledging your shadow side did I put enough effort in did I have I left it too late to try maybe the reason they don't reciprocate is because you didn't put the effort in the other way around you know what I mean as much as you're sending it out to say reciprocate maybe they've been doing that and you've not done it back and that's why there's, there's, it's also acknowledging your flaws and acknowledging your shadow side like well I didn't do that um instead of ignoring that that happened you, it takes an element of strength to go, do you know what? I fucked up there. Yes, I've lost that person. That person isn't in my life anymore, but I can learn from that experience. I know never to to um, take people for granted again, that they're in my life, to maintain my relationships. There is a lesson to learn there. Um, but yeah, it really is the power of well, what do you want? What do you want your life to look like? And making moves towards making that happen. Because once you make that happen um and and you do the work then 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 you can have that life that vision for yourself but you have to be very clear about what you want you can't be like well I want a new job it'll just the universe will just give you another job for you to jump to you need to go I want a job that is doing this I want the job that I do to have xyz I want the relationship I have with my family to be xyz I want them to come round at Christmas or birthdays or I want them to come round because they want to come round not because they're obliged to because if you only hear from your family you get a card at Christmas on your birthday Mother's Day Father's Day whatever you get the obligatory cards but you don't get visits in between then maybe that's because they don't feel they can come to you randomly it feels stilted and awkward you need to find a way to get through that. And it's not going to be through one visit that's randomly. Do you know what I mean? You can't, if you put the effort in and they reciprocate, like, yeah, we'll come around and see you then. 
make it light, make it jovial, reconnect with them. Just leave whatever's happened before at the door and just build it up with them because you can't have that one visit and then they go, oh, well, all that was was a guilt trip of why I haven't been there because all you're doing is instilling more duty rather than, do you know what, that was really good. I'd really love to go and see them again. We should do more things like this. It was a really nice afternoon or it was a really nice walk wherever or it was a really nice trip to the beach or... And if they extend the invitation of, do you want to come over for a barbecue or you want to do X, Y, Z, or maybe you can come and do the school run with me one day, kind of like to just spend a bit of time with me and the kids as we walk back to the house or, or I don't know, or even like, do you want to come and help me do supermarket shopping? We can get a coffee halfway around and, and whatever. Even if it's mundane, just go and spend time with them because... If they can't call you for fun times and you want to be there for them when they're in their darkest days, they're not going to be able to call you in their darkest days if they don't even have fun times with you. Um, if all they do is duty and obligation, then they're not going to want to invest any deeper than that. You're not the person that they call when they need help. Um, and you And you can't punish them for that if they don't choose you to call when they need help because they don't feel they can. Um, but equally, can you call them if you needed help? Is Has the relationship been maintained? Do you know what I mean? It's like it goes both ways. You can't just punish someone because you're not there when you need help. And then, you know, when they need help, you, they can't call you because you don't have that relationship. You have There's an element of trust and you have to build up trust and respect and admiration. And like, everything has to be built up. And if you just leave it, it just rots away. So you have to maintain it. You have to maintain relationships um yeah that's kind of what I've got um for you and that that feels like I'm having a go at you cap and I don't mean to have a go at you it's just it just feels like you're sat in a place of well they don't bother with me but then it's like you refuse to acknowledge the fact that um you maybe don't bother with them either um and it's just about being more positive with the relationships or the jobs and being very clear of of what you would like job relationship family whatever friendships whatever it is that you you want to work on it's making sure you put in enough effort that it's reciprocated back and if it and if that means that it's not back then maybe the damage is already done it's too far gone the rot's too deep and sometimes when a building gets too dilapidate dilapidated dilapid whatever decay destroyed it just has to be pulled down. You can't save it. It's not safe. Um, but you can clear it down. You clear down that house. You clear the debris away. Um, and you build up again a brand new building. So just because you're cutting something out doesn't mean... It just means you're opening something up for something better to come in. Um, but yeah, sometimes things aren't, aren't savable, aren't salvageable because it's been left too long already. Um but yeah maybe only then you can provide you can do a post-mortem to say well what can I learn from that what didn't I do that time how did I lose that um and just learn from it so it doesn't happen again um but yeah it's 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 hard to do that kind of self-analytical review of yourself and be that like well did I do enough to save that as you cut it off but um yeah as long as you can do it and go do you know what well I tried I put everything I had into it I tried to maintain um then but you have to be honest with that don't just go well I did xyz were you consistent there's consistency required there there's commitment required there um but yeah that feels really heavy and hard Capricorn and I'm really sorry but it just means that anything that isn't serving you, anything that isn't productive, it just means that it's time to kind of shut the door on that and just and make space. By removing that, you're making space for better things to come in, new relationships to come in, new people to come in. Um, yeah, so it's, it's hard, it's painful, it's going to take a lot of grit, it's going to take a lot of self-reviewing and self-analysis -anal and, and also analysing painful relationships, but um it's going to be necessary in order to grow and move forward um yeah anyway i hope that is of some help to you capricorn and i will see you again next week hopefully bye for now